Good morning. It is hike two of my three coast to coast revisited hikes today. So I parked in Kirby Stephen this morning um, and I'm walking up to the Nine Standards. Um, I haven't been to the Nine Standards before. Um, when I did this hike on my coast to coast um, in August, and the weather was so, so bad. It was like 60 mile per hour winds. And because I was by myself, it just wasn't safe. And you just can't take those sorts of risks. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed I'm gonna make it this time. Although the weather isn't that great. It is meant to rain like most of the day, but it isn't raining now, so hopefully it'll be okay. Honestly, I wish you could smell through this video because these woods smell so good. It's like the mixture of the rain and the wood and the leaves, it's just so nice. I'm just walking up the road um, and the nice sanders are up here. Um, so I'm now in the Yorkshire Dales and the Yorkshire Dales is quite famous for its limestone, which you can see just over there. Um, so limestone shows us that it was um, uh, an old ocean, so it's formed from um, sort of dead uh, remains of animals basically, and they fall to the bottom of the ocean and form limestone. Um, and what's really cool about limestone is that it gives you these really different features um, to what we had in the Lake District especially, which was igneous rock in the Lake District. Um, so because limestone can be dissolved quite easily by water um, underneath the ground you get lots of cave systems um, so it's a really popular area in the Yorkshire Dales um, for caving and potholing um, and when we get to a bit higher up on the moor we should really see the um, all the sort of sinkholes um, that you get um, with the limestone. So these gorgeous flowers just here are called um, a harebell and they're also known as a Scottish bluebell and they've got this really beautiful bell shape on them. Um, they're kind of like a bluebell um, but bluebells come much earlier in spring um, and obviously these are around in August but yeah they're just scattering the banks with a beautiful blue. Today is really different from the Lake District. Um, it just shows how much the geology defines what the landscape looks like. Um, so what I was talking about earlier with the limestone, this is a really good example of um, a sinkhole and you can even see where it has slipped. Um, so the rock underneath has dissolved and it's caused the land on top to drop down basically causing these hole like shapes and they're actually really massive. Yeah, so it's raining, hence the hood that makes me look like a mushroom. Um, so when I did the coast to coast before, um, this river here, which is actually hardly a river, was literally a raging torrent and I actually couldn't cross it and ended up having to like um, walk down this way to try and find like the narrowest point, but it was a bit hairy. But today it's literally like not even a trickle. Wow, this valley is incredible. It's just been carved out by the river um, that's flowing down and you can really see the limestone and where it's eroded away. And that whole valley has literally been eroded by water. It's pretty amazing. So that heavy rainstorm seems to have eased off a bit now. Um, and uh, 
Yeah, so there is um, thunder and lightning forecast for this afternoon. So one of the reasons I got up really early this morning was to try and beat that weather, um, which fingers crossed I will do. Um, but yeah, it is sort of thunder and lightning storms happen um, due to sort of an unsettled atmosphere. And normally it's when it's quite humid, um, which it definitely was when I started out. It's a bit windier up here. Um, so it's kind of taking the um, hot air away. But yeah, when you get the hot air below and the much cooler air above, and that creates sort of these charges, which is the lightning. Um, and then the thunder you hear after the lightning um, because light travels faster than sound. Um, so the thunder is the sound that the lightning makes. Um, and I did some Googling last night on like how to stay safe in, in thunder and lightning. And one of the things it said is you can um, count between when the lightning strikes and hearing the thunder. And that tells you how far away um, the storm is. Um, and obviously probably if it's within like, I don't know, 10 kilometers, maybe a bit more, you should probably try and uh, get down off high ground as quickly as possible. So yeah, that's what I plan on doing if it gets to that point, but hopefully it won't. I'm almost at the nine standards now. So I've just been walking along the footpath and I've spotted um, these ripples on this little block here. Um, so like I was saying earlier, the limestone here shows that it was an old ocean and these ripples are actually remnants from an old beach. Um, so yeah, like when you go to the beach, you see those ripples. Well, there they are, but fossilized. I'm absolutely buzzing. I've made it to the nine standards. Didn't manage this on my coast to coast last year. I was so disappointed and I've made it and I've got like 360 views. It's just, oh. Hey, so a really cool thing about the nine standards is that over here, the water flows that way to the Irish Sea. And over here, the water flows that way to the North Sea. It's called the Watershed of England. So the rain has started up again. I'm just sheltering behind one of the nine standard pillars um, just because it's yeah a little bit out of the wind here. Um, so yeah, I wanted to talk a little bit about what the nine standards are uh, because uh, it's actually a mystery. No one really knows why they were built. There is a couple of rumors. Um, so one of the rumors is that the English army um, built these pillars up here um, to make the Scottish army think that there was um, an army camped up here, um, but that's actually probably not likely. And what is most likely is a lot more boring. And it's just that it's the boundary between two counties. Um, yeah, I think I prefer the first story, but what it is worth noting is how old these pillars are. Um, so they're actually recorded on maps from the 1500s. Um, so, that means they could be sort of five, six hundred years old. So I'm just walking down from the nine standards, actually on the same path I walked up at. And um, there's lots of um, this really dark um, material around. And then there's also um, some sort of land management that's been done where they've put quite big slabs down on the paths. So that really dark material is actually peat. So peat's a really, really important carbon store. Um, it stores like 20 times more carbon than rainforests. Um, and we've got, in the UK, we've got the most peat out of like any country. Um, so it's really, really important that we look after that. So I'm just walking down the path from the nine standards, the same route I went up. Um, 
the weather's a bit changeable. Sometimes there's like these um, really, really heavy rain. Like I am drenched. My boots are clearly not waterproof anymore. Um, and then sometimes it stops and the sun was out like a minute ago. Um, so yeah, really changeable. Um, but I mean, not complaining. I'd rather it was changeable than raining the entire time. So um, I've made it back to the car. Um, it's a bit wet out there, uh, which, so I didn't do that much filming on the way down, but it was the same route anyway. Um, I got to the point where I could have gone a slightly different route and my left foot was just squelching so badly in my walking boot. And I was like, I think I just need to get back now. Um, yeah, so I think it's the right call. I'm definitely glad I got out earlier um, and beat the weather a bit. It's definitely got worse later on. But yeah, I really enjoyed today's hike. Thanks for coming along with me. Even though the weather was a little bit iffy, um, it was still really nice just to be outside and obviously had still had really great views. But also to go to the Nine Standards, which I really was disappointed I couldn't go last year and I kept saying I want to go back I want to go back so it's so nice to finally um well to actually have made it up there um and the, yeah it was pretty cool up there um and yeah amazing views uh so yeah um this is the second of my coast to coast revisited videos I've got um, another one coming out in a few days um, which is going to be on the North York Moors, uh, the final section of the Coast to Coast, very exciting. Um, and once that video is out, there will be a survey to fill in. Um, so if you've engaged with any of the content, watch any of the videos, please, 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 can you fill in the survey? It'll be really helpful. And once the survey's live, I will link it below, but that'll be a few days after this video comes out because I'm not going to release the survey until all three videos are online. Thanks again for watching. Bye.